What's happening, y'all? JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes. And today we're going back to urethane land. We're gonna try to check these out. I wanna see the difference between the new blue, the purple hammer, and that new red IQ 78U, uh, the new urethane from Storm. We're gonna kinda get lined up with the purple hammer since we know clearly that's the strongest one of the three. We're gonna try to get lined up with the purple hammer. Then we will take a look I'll let you in on a secret. I've thrown a couple of shots already, so I kind of know where to go with the Purple Hammer. I haven't thrown the other ones yet, so I don't know where to go with those. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna throw shots with the Purple Hammer, where it strikes, and then I'm gonna throw shots with the other balls so we can really pay attention to the difference. I felt generous, and I'm moving the camera over so you can kind of see the pins this time. Last time, I didn't show you the pins because I really want you to focus on the ball reaction, not what the pins are doing. Everybody's so obsessed with the result rather than actually watching what your ball's doing. There's a reason why I set the camera up where I did. I wanted to be able to see the lane and what the ball was doing for the first 30 feet of the lane, not so much what the ball was doing going through the pins or any of that stuff. That wasn't important. We know what a urethane ball is going to do down lane. We're trying to figure out which one did something different in the front and in the middle. So this time I'll be nice. I'll let you see the pins. But keep in mind, when you can't see the pins, we're focusing on the bowling balls. So we're gonna take these out here and we're gonna check them out in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna wipe off the bowling ball each shot. So each shot has, you know, just basically fresh cover. They're all at 500 grit. So I'm gonna throw shots, a couple shots with the purple hammer so you can see what it does, since it is the basis. Now this is the ball that everybody's worried about. This is the one that everybody's trying to compete with. This is the one that everybody's trying to replace. Because on PBA Tour, starting January 6th, you will not be able to use this ball. So, at least this version of this ball. Are they gonna come out with a purple hammer at 78? I don't know. I think it'd be kind of silly not to, but who knows what they're gonna do. They came out with a new blue and they put the, uh, the NU, not urethane, kind of to, I guess, throw it back at the PBA. I don't know. I'm going to try to get lined up here with this ball and then throw the other ones. Uh, we got there, but we didn't strike. So I'm going to go a little left and slow down. Now, to be fair, this pair has been trashed kids the bumpers were up when i got here so you're not going to see a whole lot of motion but you should still see a difference between these three balls all right purple hammer one more time All right, so now we'll throw the other bowling balls from there. Let's start with, let's go to the not urethane because this was their replacement for the purple for the new year. So let's throw the blue and you in that same spot. I need my thumb in there. Where's, what's going on? There we go. And you, not urethane. See what this does in that same spot. Okay, does not pick up like the purple hammer, clearly. Clearly didn't pick up like the purple hammer did. Let's try it again. 
See if it was just a first ball fluke. Wipe the oil off of it. All right, that was better. That one was better. Maybe I didn't get that one going as far right. So that looked okay. Could you all tell a difference on that one? Comment below. Make sure to like. Hit the like button. Hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. All right, one more with the blue one. See if this does the same thing. It's definitely cleaner than the purple, but similar on this condition. On the fresh condition, when I did the comparison, you guys saw the review. The purple outhooked the blue by a lot. All right. So now let's throw the IQ Tour. The IQ, is it a Tour? Yeah, IQ Tour 78U. Now this one flares a little bit. This one flares a pinch. I'm going to stay in the same spot, try to throw it in the same area. Ooh, that picked up early. That picked up early. That picked up real early. That was early like the purple hammer. But it makes sense because this one's actually urethane. But it did not go through the pins. But it got there. Let's throw another one there. going right all right so it definitely doesn't pick up as strong as the purple hammer it doesn't pick up down lane like the new blue throw it one more time there but they all hit the pocket from the same general area That one clearly, clearly reads the lane earlier, which is a good thing, because that's what urethane is meant for. So now, let's go back to the purple hammer in that same spot and see if we see a difference at all. I'm wiping it off every time, using my creating the difference towels. So this one, I'm having a hard time distinguishing this and the red one. I think the purple is more continuous. When it starts picking up, it keeps going. Whereas I think the flare of the red one kind of makes it peter out a little bit. Let's throw another one here. Okay, so that one read early like the red one. So there must be a little spot there or something. I must have hit that little spot with those ones. So now let's move left. I'm going to move his zone left and throw all three again. And this is where you should really be able to tell the difference. So I'm going to move five left. Five and three. This might be where the purple hammer dominates. 
Because that was pretty sick, Chubbs. So you saw that one, five and three left. And I'll throw the red one. IQ Tour 78. You. Wiping it off. See how that bails? That's the big difference. Big difference. Now remember, Purple Hammer is not 78 hardness. Purple Hammer is real soft. This one, I bet this one probably is, I would imagine, below 73. So just keep that in mind. This is the major reason for that change. I know the urethane or the USB-C came out with a study and was saying, oh, they don't get softer and it doesn't make a difference. And <laughs> BS. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, here's the blue one. Now, that one's closer, but again, remember, that one's not urethane. At least it's not all urethane. It is um, not urethane, <laughs> whatever they want to call it. The badass blue cover stock. But you can see, still, doesn't pick up like a purple hammer. It picks up. And you might be able to beat it up and get it to do some things. With surface, I'm going to throw the blue one again right there. Let's see if I can just kind of give it just a little bit more. Maybe it'll get through the pins from there. Increase my rev rate a touch. Yeah, so banging on it made it pick up and get going. If I do that with a traditional 78 hardness urethane, it's not going to do that. I think Hammer's onto something here with this blue one. I think this is a good idea. Let me see if I can throw the red one there and give it a little bit extra. And get it to go to the get to the pocket. It did. Definitely did. So you can bang on it and get it to go. I just don't like having to really grab on them. I don't like having to do that. I'm in the middle of training myself to be softer and more complete at the bottom of the swing. But I don't have to do that. That's the difference. I don't have to bang on it like that with the purple hammer. So I'm going to throw the purple one more time so you guys can see the difference. And I'm actually even going to move a few more left with the purple hammer just to really give you an idea. I'm going to go three and one more. Look at that. That's three and one. Angle's too open because now it gets to the dry so much. But the other bowling balls aren't going to do that. The red one, I'll throw the red one there. The red one certainly isn't going to overreact from that spot. I don't believe so anyway. Maybe, who knows. That's what we're here for, right? We're trying to find out what's gonna happen. Good practice to see what these balls are capable of. So the red one now, three, three and one more. Red one didn't overreact, and you can see it got basically to the gutter because it scoots just a little bit more than the purple. All right, there you go. So that is the difference between those three. You could clearly see the purple hammer is just leaps and bounds, a different bowling ball than the rest. I think hammer did a pretty good job with the blue one, uh, making it not urethane, putting a little bit of reactive in it to make it pick up just a little bit more. Uh, I don't know what Storm's going to do. Um, they tried something like that with the Zen U. That might be still a good option. I saw a little over-under with the Zen U once it got some oil on it. 
uh, it definitely seemed to really underperform for me once it got the oil on it. This red one seems to be really good, but it is more of a traditional urethane type look. It reminds me an awful lot like the Buffalo. Remember the Buffalo, it's an 81 hardness, so even harder than this, but it gave me a similar ball reaction. So those are in my bag. Those, I appreciate that type of look. This red one just allows me to play straighter. I obviously can't play straighter with the purple hammer. It's gonna overreact in the front for me. That's what forces me to go to the left. And then a lot of the times I can't get it to go through the pocket. For me, the purple hammer was always, in most cases, was always too strong. A lot of guys were able to use it in situations that I was never able to use it in. And maybe that's why I wasn't nearly as competitive as I wanted to be um, when those balls were really in play. So. I, I still believe this rule change is a benefit for me and a lot of other guys out there. So being forced to use these other balls like the new blue and the red per, the red uh, IQ Tour, we're, I, I'm super curious as to what's going to happen. I'll tell you what, I will be out at the very first stop of the Players' Championship on bowling the PTQ because, again, I didn't bowl enough last year to be able to get into the top 50 in points. So uh, this year I plan on bowling everything. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to try to take some videos, some guys using these balls and stuff, and I'll be able to show you exactly what they're trying to do with them. Maybe I'll try to get some interviews with some guys and see what they think about these balls as well. Um, but yeah, make sure to hit the like button for me. Comment below. What do you think the big difference of the three is? Can you see a big difference between these three? I can, um, but let me know what you think. And if you want to buy any of these balls, including a purple hammer, you can still buy them because they're still legal uh, through all of USBC, leagues, everything else. You can still get them. Head over to BowlerX.com. Get any one of these bowling balls over there. Or come up here. I'll get you one at BowlerX Pro Shop and Training Center. Um, and make sure to head over to 10pindoctors.com. Get your virtual lesson for only $25 on sale all the way through Christmas. So make sure to head over there. Sign up for that. If you're a member of the website, you get them for $20. So that's, uh, that's $20 off as a member, $15 off as a non-member. Head over there, 10pindoctors.com, and we'll get you taken care of. I'll give you a lesson online if you don't live in my area. Cheapest and best way to get some real advice and some real drills you can do to better your game. So I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.